Okay, so so why is the Christian ID argument so popular then? Because it's a strong argument against modern atheism. So modern atheism is based on materialism. That it, the belief that the physical universe is everything that exists, matter, energy, space, time, and um, and it's admitted that this that this uh, the physical universe is not an intelligent agent. So mm. when when uh, proponents of the intelligent design argument they bring forth examples of design, this disproves the materialistic presuppositions of modern atheism. And it's a strong and powerful um, argument against it. But but proving that atheist materialism is false is different from proving like, other options. Right? So Aristotle, for example, he believed that the physical universe was like a living thing. Yeah. And that's why he postulated final causes and causes. Everything is moving towards this end cause. Um, animists have also believed that. So I think that that there's been a there's been a shift in the way that we that human beings view the universe. In the time when the Quran was revealed, the main the main uh, uh, I guess the conversation was between. Uh, monotheism and poly polytheism. And both monotheism and polytheism, they affirmed agency. They affirmed the existence of some kind of agents with intelligence that were bringing about and making the world the way that it is. But is it one God who's a necessary being or is it idols and, and many, many gods? That was the, that was the, that was the disagreement and the contingency argument. It shows that it's one necessary being can't be multiple polytheistic gods. But now, now it's it's in the in the in the mainstream. It's between theism and atheism, and theism believes in an intelligent designer. But atheism, because it upholds materialism, it's so it's like so it it doesn't believe in an intelligent designer. So atheism is is so if you think of like degeneration, you have monotheism degenerating to polytheism, degenerating to materialism, um, which is a different kind of, uh, you know, uh, narrative than is popular in uh, most uh, religious histories. So they would say it's polytheism to monotheism to, uh, to atheism. So that's, so from the atheist perspective, there's a reduction in the belief in gods. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, but the, we uh, we would say you know so, but in our times materialist atheism has won out and that's why the ID argument in our times is so popular it's so strong it strikes a chord um, because this is the environment that we live in. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that leads on really the question: what, Why is why isn't the QD the connect design argument as popular as the Christian ID argument, the intelligent design argument? Why aren't scientists who believe in God making the QD argument? Why are they making the ID argument instead? So I think again, it's because of materialism. So mm -hmm. ID tries to come out of materialism, but it fails. It can only emerge out of materialism through the argument from contingency, the Quranic design argument, which sees the entire universe as dependent on God, the necessary being, but it doesn't do that. And I think that, um, so this is not a reasoned argument, but this is my, uh, I think there's a um, inference to the best explanation that the reason why ID cannot come out of materialism completely is because Christian monotheism, if you know, is it's affected by materialism because of the doctrine of the Trinity, because of the belief that Jesus is God. It means that even if you just focus on God the Father, then that God is somehow tainted by the features of the physical world. It's possible for God to be a human being. Jesus needs to be designed. <laughs> Jesus needs to be designed. Jesus is a human being. He needs to be designed. So, um, so if the, I think that the, the ultimate conclusion of the Quranic design argument, it would disprove the belief that Jesus is God.